Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, so basically this video is, I don't even know, like I just decided to make it like 20 minutes ago. Um, but last night, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you would have known that I chopped off the tip of my thumb. And a lot of you guys were asking how. So I thought I'd make a mukbang and tell you a little story time about what happened to me yesterday and everything. So I'm, yeah, I know it's like really weird to be eating food while I'm talking about like really bloody things. And I'll probably like add some photos as well to like show you guys what my thumb looks like and what it looked like uh, yesterday. So just wanted to know, like I'll probably put like a little warning before I put the pictures up, but there is gonna be like blood and stuff. So yeah, I know it's like really weird that I'm eating food, but I'm so hungry because I was in the hospital for like five hours yesterday and had no time to eat. I didn't eat anything and I went to bed hungry. So hungry, oh my God. I just had like a vegan muffin this morning and that was it. So I got this giant burger from Moo Gourmet Burgers. It's, they're, it's not a vegan place, but they have like five vegan burgers. So I got the lentil burger. I've never eaten here before, but it looks big because I'm so hungry. So yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys um, what happened to me last night and how I chopped my thumb off and everything. So um, I'm just going to be eating this while I'm talking. So I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I've never really done a mukbang before, but I'm doing it now. And ignore the background because we still have not fully set up our studio, our apartment. Damn. Oh my God, this looks so good. So this is the burger. It's like a lentil patty. It looks so good. I don't know how I'm gonna eat this with one hand. Mmm. Mmm. Hold on. Are you really an American if you don't add ketchup and mustard onto literally everything you eat? No. Okay. So yesterday I was making myself lunch. I was home alone. Kieran was at work and I was chopping lettuce. Literally just chopping some lettuce because I was making a salad and <clears throat> I don't even know. Usually like I'm pretty good about keeping my fingers out of the way when I'm chopping. Like I kind of know like the correct way to chop, but at the same time, I'm just, I just do things really fast and I'm not very careful. I'm not a very careful person. <laughs> and yeah, I literally chopped, I chopped the end of my thumb off. And like I looked at my thumb and it was literally just gushing blood and I literally I, when I looked at it it was like angled and it freaked me out like the ang like <laughs> like I just looked at it and I I knew that like part of my thumb was gone like just chopped it right off oh even thinking about it freaks me out um but anyways yeah so that happened uh it was gushing blood and I basically took the kitchen towel that we had and just like wrapped my thumb with it just to like stop the bleeding. Also, I have a condition called thrombocytopenia, I think. And it basically means that I have low blood platelets, which is like kind of like how thin or how thick your blood is. So I think like a normal range is in like the hundred something. I actually have no idea what I'm saying right now. But anyways, mine's like very abnormal, but it's a hereditary thing. Uh, so I've had it my whole life. And it's the reason why I bruise really easily. I bleed really easily. Basically, platelets are what help your blood clot. So when you get cut, eventually your blood will clot on its own, even if you don't put pressure on it. Um, well, obviously, if it's like a super deep cut or like you get your leg chopped off, you know, like you will probably bleed to death before your blood clots. But for the most part, like that's the point of it is to help you clot and heal and scab and whatever. And so I don't have as many as like a normal human being should. So I bleed and blue. <laughs> I bleed and bruise easily, more easily than other people. And it takes me a while to stop bleeding longer than like a normal person. So anywho, um, so I cut my thumb and it was just gushing blood. So yeah, I wrapped it with a kitchen towel and I immediately called my boyfriend, Kieran because I didn't know what to do and he was at work. And I was like, Kieran, I literally just chopped my thumb, like a piece of it off. 
like a big piece it's bleeding like i don't know what to do we don't even have any first aid kits in our apartment because we're so prepared but um yeah so we kind of both decided that i would because i didn't know how serious it was i never really like took a good look at it i just immediately covered it with a towel and so i decided to go down to like a chemist the chemist down the street from me and just try to get like as many bandages and like cleaning stuff that i could to try to dress it myself um so the chemist was like, even though he couldn't really see the actual wound, he was like, if you cut your finger, like, I would recommend going to the hospital. And I was like, okay, I can't afford that. Because I'm a foreigner and I just, it's just like, if you don't have, I don't even know, like, I just thought it was going to be really expensive, which it would be. I was like, I can't afford that. Like, I really just didn't want to go to the hospital. I didn't want to have to have to do that just in general. Um, always put your health above money by the way like don't listen to me i was just i was just concerned and i felt like it wasn't that serious i thought i could take care of it on my own um so anyways i got all this stuff finally kieran gets off work comes home because i didn't want to i couldn't i can only use one hand so i couldn't like wrap it myself so i just was waiting for him with the towel on my thumb still hadn't even looked but my the towel was I, at this point was just like soaked in blood completely soaked um, so I knew it was, like, probably pretty bad. Okay, so, Kieran and I came in, I sat in the bathtub because there was a lot of blood, and basically I needed to take the towel off of my thumb so we could see it, so Kieran could, like, put the stuff on, like, <laughs> and first of all, the towel had been on my thumb for, like, probably an hour at this point, and, ugh, I hate this part, like, I don't even like talking about it, but basically... The towel was like stuck to my thumb because of all the blood and stuff and so i was like running it under a tap and like trying to pull it off and i literally can't explain how badly it hurt i was crying i was just like i was just like in the most pain i've ever been in just trying to get this towel off of my thumb i it just it hurt so so bad i just i can't explain how badly it hurt but just so bad and like to be honest like i do think i have a very high pain like a pretty high pain tolerance i don't know i feel like everyone says that <sighs> but i do feel like i do like normally i don't cry when i get hurt i have to be like pretty badly hurt to cry but i was like screaming and crying <laughs> it was so bad i was like giving birth um so yeah, I finally got the towel off, which hurt so bad, and immediately after I took the towel off, my thumb was just gushing blood. It was literally squirting, like, squirting blood, like, blood was squirting out of my thumb. And yeah, it was honestly just freaking me out. I don't, I don't mind blood and stuff like that. But when it's me, like, I don't mind it in, like, other people, but when it's my blood, no. It was the most blood I've ever seen in my life. It was just, the bathtub was just, we were running water, but it was literally just, like, liquid blood, like, blood. Just going down the drain. Um, so, yeah. At that point, I think we realized, and Kieran started, like, looking up what do you do if you're, like, if what, like, what does it mean if your blood's squirting? Basically, it means you've cut an artery and you need to get emergency help immediately. So we were like, okay, like we don't have a choice. We need to go to the hospital. And luckily there's a hospital very close to where we live and we ended up getting an Uber. Well, Kieran ended up like putting a bandage on and like he actually wrapped it up pretty nicely where it didn't actually bleed through, which I'm very surprised that it didn't, but I think it's just because there was a lot of pressure on it. Um, but yeah, he bandaged, bandaged, bandaged it up with like everything we got at the chemist. We took an Uber to the hospital, went into the emergency, um, and yeah, they called me in. I didn't bring any of my ID with me because I literally left everything in the apartment because we rushed out. I, I knew I needed my passport, obviously, but I just, in the midst of it all, I just didn't bring anything. I didn't even bring my phone. Um, so yeah, we took an Uber to the hospital, went to the emergency, and then they called me in. And um, the nurse took off my bandage. It was squirting blood still just dripping, like, as as soon as she took the bandage off, just blood, like, poured everywhere. Um, and then she wrapped it up again, which hurt really bad, because she was pushing on it. And this is, like, just imagine if you'd slice something open and then, like, press something on it. 
it's like raw flesh like it does not feel good it hurts very bad i was crying it was just i was just freaked out about the whole situation in general as well as in pain so just both of those together was just making me cry and i was just like panicking i just wanted to be okay <laughs> Um, but the nurse were like really, really nice. They were all just like calming me down and stuff. Um, and Kieran came with me. They took me to see one of the doctors and I told them I had thrombocytopenia. Um, so they knew that the immediately, the immediate thing they needed to do was basically to just get the bleeding to stop. Um, and so I ended up going into like one of those like hospital beds, like literally like, you know, when people are like really sick. I was like in one of those, in like a separate little room or like a little curtain thing and the doctor shot anesthesia into my thumb which hurt very badly <laughs> it was like a very bad stinging on top of my thumb already being in pain but it became numb and i couldn't feel anything thank god so finally my thumb was numb and the guy could work on my thumb so he had to stitch up the little tiny artery that was squirting blood and i didn't watch any of it i was like turned to the side like not watching it because i couldn't feel it and i also didn't want to watch it because i felt like it would make me feel the pain um so as far as i know he stitched up the artery with a dissolvable or absorbable stitch thing where they don't have to take it out um and he cleaned it and then bandaged it up tightly uh, to stop the bleeding and basically i had to wait there for hours and hours and make sure that it was indeed had stopped bleeding like they just wanted to make sure that it wasn't going to bleed through so i just kept my arm elevated and we were just i didn't bring my phone or anything so i was literally just laying in this hospital bed for so long like oh my god me and kieran were just so bored we were supposed to go to a concert yesterday night as well and we missed that unfortunately um so that was also annoying i was starving i had to pee i mean i did pee but like it was just like i was just not comfortable it was super cold in the hospital um i just i felt fine at that point i my thumb did hurt really bad but it wasn't bleeding so i thought it was fine to go so finally after many many hours um they also took like a bunch of blood as well um because when i told them i had low blood platelets they just wanted to check and make sure it was okay so anyways they um told me I could go and then told me to come back in the morning at like 6 45 a.m. so I did that this morning and I had to go to the plastic surgeon ward or whatever um, because that's where they like dress wounds like this I guess um, because the what they did last night was just to stop the bleeding it wasn't like an actual dressing that you would do for having something heal so I had to go there and oh my god the gauze that the guys had put on the night before like last night had like stuck to my thumb again and it hurt almost as bad as the towel but not as bad but I was still like crying and just like squirming around because I just hate it so much and yeah the lady had to like take it off they did put um like numbing liquid on my thumb thank god thank god for that honestly I'm not even eating my food guys oh my god I'm so hungry Um, so yes, I also have multiple appointments. I have another appointment on Friday, another appointment the next week. And then I called my mom and apparently my insurance covers all of this, so I don't have to pay for it. Um, I also have to take medication now, so I have to take antibiotics and painkillers, which I really don't want to take painkillers because they make you drowsy and I don't want to be like that. But I do have to take them. So I haven't taken medicine in, like I just never take medicine. I stopped taking medicine like three years ago i don't think i've taken medicine in like three years but yeah i definitely need to take antibiotics because i don't want this to get infected although i have to say my immune system is pretty good i never get infections and i usually never clean anything too so yeah um so yeah this is my thumb and i'm going to insert pictures right now so i'm warning you i'm going to show you guys what my thumb looked like and um yeah just like what really happened and um, I'm gonna show you like I when I cut my thumb like the tip of the thumb was still in the kitchen like on the cutting board and so I'll show you guys pictures of that um, so if you don't like that click away or skip ahead but here they are 
so yeah, um, the tip of my thumb found on the kitchen counter, I ended up throwing it away, um, and yeah, there was definitely a lot of blood, way more blood than in the bathtub. And then that is what it looks like, my thumb looked like uh, when I did cut it, so, so bad. Um, the doctor says my thumb is going to grow back apparently, but I don't know if that's really true. It might just grow over. I'll, it'll probably be a little scabbed and deformed, I assume. So that is basically what happened. I can't um, really use my thumb for a while now until it heals. And I kind of have to keep it elevated as well. But yeah, I'm all good. It was a fun night. Great night, you know, just chilling in the hospital, missing my concert, being in pain. Um, but yeah, this is a lesson, you know, <laughs> I feel like this video is so pointless, like none of you really care, but I just thought I would explain what happened since a lot of you guys saw my Instagram story and were wondering, but yeah, I'm all good guys. I'm all good. Um, thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.